I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on system of equations. So we'll consider a circle and a parabola and we'll find their points of intersection. The equation is determine three points of intersection between the graph of x square plus y square equals to 25 and y equals to x square minus 5. So we are given two equations here. The first one is of the circle which is x square plus y square equals to 25. The second one is y equals to x square minus 5. Now, we can isolate x square from the second equation. It gives us x square equals to y plus 5, bringing this 5 to the left side. And now, we can substitute from equation 2 the value of x square in 1, right? So now we'll substitute 2 in 1. So that is to say we could write this as y plus 5 plus y square equals to 25. Rearrange so we get y square plus y plus 5 minus 25 equals to 0 which could be written as y square plus y minus 20 equals to 0. Now you could factor this we are looking for two numbers whose product is minus 20, let's say two numbers p and q, whose product should be minus 20 and the sum should be plus 1. So the numbers are 5 and minus 4. So this can be factored as y, min, uh, y plus 5 times y minus 4 equals to 0. Now that gives us uh, two points. So let's figure out what these two points are by equating each factor to zero. So these are the two factors. So if I write y plus 5 equals to zero, I get y equals to minus 5. If I get y minus 4 equals to zero, we get y equals to 4. So we have, we have two values y equals to minus 5 and 4, correct? For each value, we should find the value of x. So we have this equation, x squared equals to y plus 5. So we will actually find both the x values for, for y equals to minus 5 and for y equals to 4, right? So the equation is x squared equals to y plus 5. If I substitute minus 5 here, I get x squared equals to minus 5 plus 5, which is 0, and therefore the point is 0 minus 5. So we get one point of intersection. If I substitute 4, I get x squared equals to 4 plus 5, which is 9. So x squared is 9. x should be square root of 9. Whenever you do square root, you have to do plus and minus. And that gives us two points, plus and minus three. And therefore, the coordinates of these points are three and the y value is four, or it could be minus three and four. You get an idea, right? So we have our solution, and the answer here is the points are zero minus five, and these two, right, which is three, four, and minus three, four, correct? So that is how we can get the solution. To give you a picture as to how it should look like, so, so if you actually sketch it, we have a parabola and a circle. So the circle here is x squared plus y squared with the center at zero, something like this. As far as the parabola is concerned, x squared minus five, so this point is minus five for us. So we see that it intersects somewhere there, right? So it's just kind of a parabola which is like this. And these are the points of intersection. One, two, and three. Do you see that? So that is how you could visualize it. So I hope it helps to understand all the solution. So by substitution, we actually found the three points. Remember, whenever you do square root, this is a very critical step. Whenever you do square root, write plus and minus, only then you get both your points, otherwise you miss one of them. So I hope you find it interesting and useful. 
feel free to share your comments and if you like and subscribe that'll be excellent thank you and all the best